two years removed from his last appearance, former four-division titleholder Adrian Bronner returned to the ring on Saturday in a welterweight headliner that felt very much like an Adrian Bronner fight. Bronner, the 1st of April 34, 24 Cos, wasn't active enough to impress and needed a late rally to salvage a disputed unanimous decision over unheralded Giovanni Santiago, the 1st of January 14, 10 Cos, in a Premier Boxing Champions card from the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut. In true Bronner fashion, his post-fight interview was also more exciting and colorful than the 12 rounds that preceded. Despite being outlanded 207-98 by the light-punching Santiago, according to CompuBox, the three judges favored the heavier counter shots from the 31-year-old Bronner by scores of 115-112, 116 to 111 and 117 to 110. CBS Sports also had it 115 to 112 for Bronner, who benefited from Santiago being doctor point by referee Arthur Mercant Jr. to close round four despite both fighters landing punches after the bell. That was cool. I want to go home and really look at my fight. I haven't fought in two years, Bronner said. I felt good, and I felt like I won the fight. It felt like I beat him with the jab, honestly. It feels good to get my hand raised. Despite Bronner's comments, his jab was largely non-existent until his late surge. He relied mostly on counter left hooks and short right hands in a fight that, on paper, had no business being as close as it was given the gap in talent between the two. Santiago, 31, was taking a huge step up in class in his first fight outside of the Dominican Republic or his native Puerto Rico. Bronner, meanwhile, hadn't fought since a lifeless 2019 loss to Manny Pacquiao in their pay-per-view bout before undergoing a layoff that featured legal troubles, alcohol abuse and weight gain. I have to go home and assess my performance but I didn't really warm up that much, Bronner said. Later on in the fight I warmed up and started to feel good. I knew the mother f -er was going to be tough because he has that undefeated record. I knew he would fight like a homeless guy going for a sandwich. But, I came in and I got the job done. After the fight, Bronner called out both Showtime and Hall of Fame journalist Steve Farhood, who scored the fight in favor of Santiago as the broadcast's unofficial judge. Santiago, however, had no issue with the decision. No, this doesn't surprise me. Bronner did a nice job in there, Santiago said. The decision could have gone both ways. It's not that I thought I was losing the fight but the fight could have gone both ways. He fought great and it came down to the decision. Boxing fans know who I am now but to win this fight, I think I needed a little more pressure and the fight would have gone my way. Bronner seemed to actively give away the middle rounds by abandoning his jab and not making Santiago pay for getting inside and flurrying to the body.